morning. Um, as, as I was introduced, Sean McDonald. Uh, first of all, I'm an engineer. I spent the first part of my career working for a Fortune 500 engineering services company. I am now the full-time founder and president of Feedback Enterprise. Um, our team consists of three technical professionals. All of us work together at NASA Langley um, doing high-risk, one-of-a-kind technical projects. Our first product is a golf-related product, so we have two <coughs> lifetime teaching professionals on our team. Uh, we're represented by Pillsbury, and we're also a virtual client of the Peninsula Technology Incubator, C. Tom Flake, sitting right there. Mm -hmm. There's a little shout-out to you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> so, Feedback is revolutionizing the $11 billion self-help industry. Just as we went from self-help books to self-help videos when VCRs became part of our lives, um, well, technology is really changing the face of self-help, and we think we've got some really unique ideas for where that needs to go. Um, when we talk about self-help, we really talk about deciding that it's time to improve. And right now our options are we hire a coach who can kind of help us, or we struggle and try to become experts ourselves. Now there's a third option, which we call Feedback's Coach in a Smartphone. So let's talk about the evolution of self-help. The current industry is all about sensors and wearing sensors or putting sensors on our devices. And the current approach is to take the data from that sensor and give you passive data about whatever activity it is you're doing. But it's still up to you to decide what to do to improve, right? Our approach is different. We use computer vision technology, combine that, the data that we extract from the video, combine it with the knowledge of industry experts, and give you actual automated coaching instruction. So it's as if a coach is standing there telling and helping you through whatever activity you want to improve at. Uh, this concept can help the 270 million people in the United States who participate in sports, the 21 million people who do physical therapy type activities, or excuse me, personal training, and then the 212 million people who, uh, who need physical therapy, and that is just the U.S. alone. So we see a very large market for our technology. Our automated coaching solution consists of three products, all at increasing price points. The first we call Collect, and it's a way of, of capturing video, capturing, reviewing, and sharing video using a smartphone application. The second is Analyze. Once you've captured that video, you upload it to the cloud, click a button, and we'll give you automated instruction for what you need to do to improve. And the third delivers that instruction at wherever your practice location is. So our three products are all designed to work together, and this is a, a, a simple block diagram showing how the products work. So we have this concept of capturing the video. Our automated system, once you upload that to the cloud, we extract the data out of there, uh, determine motion paths, apply some rules, and create some instruction. That instruction is then either output to a browser or at your practice location. Now one of the questions I frequently get is, well, how do I know that's good instruction? And so one of the things we're doing to validate the rules and the data is we're building a database of fingerprints, if you will, of the video. So our instructor right now is currently looking at all the videos that we're collecting with our Collect product, which is available now, and they're coding them, fingerprinting them, if you will. Uh, and our process is to compare what the instructor says to what our system generates as the answer. Once those errors start to become within an acceptable range, we'll know that we are ready to launch our analyzed product. So, as I mentioned, our Feedback Collect is available today. It's a mobile app, uh, a one-year subscription with the download of $19.99. Or you can purchase our bundle, which includes a clamp, tripod, Bluetooth, um, a one-year subscription, and that's available at $89.95 for $89 at a variety of e-retailers. When we think about our competition, um, from the Collect perspective, this concept of having a mobile app to video is not amazingly unique. What makes our solution different is that we're doing it all with a voice activation feature, so you don't have to kind of go back and forth and touch the system, do what your activity, touch the system, do your activity. Our analyze and instruct products, uh, there are there is competition out there. They're all sensor-based solutions, all providing data. Nobody is giving you that actual instruction and providing you that autonomous learning experience. 
When we look at since the feedback collects available today, and so from a sales perspective, we have a little over 1,200 users. We've sold 850 units, um, and we have 3,000 over 3,000 videos, which is really key to our long-term success because it's those videos that are helping us develop our analyze and our instruct products. Um, from a growth strategy perspective, we um, we've got kind of a three-pronged approach: a marketing approach. You know, online marketing. Um, right now, we're we can, we're focused on wholesale agreements, uh, exclusive territory distributor agreements, and e-retail agreements. Uh, of course, customer service is key to this, and we offer a one uh, every month a free webinar to our existing customers and anyone else who wants to participate to learn how to improve using our system. And then, of course, additional product development. So as we, our first implementation is golf, but we will develop additional solutions for baseball, softball, etc. <coughs> and from a revenue model, uh, it's subscription-based, recurring revenue, and then additional sales uh, with our, uh, at our bundle sale that contribute to our bottom line. And what happens is as time progresses, and we add, like in 2016, we analyze and instruct products, and we start adding sports, our revenue just continues to grow. Our projections show that we'll be at a $1 billion annual revenue by 2022. Our breaking even is in October of 2016. So, the story of feedback has been one of reducing risk. Um, ever since I had the idea at the driving range, I was swinging away and I said, my coach, my phone should be able to be my coach. Uh, first thing I did was commission a, uh, as I break this, I commissioned a, a, a model to make sure that you could actually use computer vision to solve the problem. We figured that out. Once we were convinced of that, I quit my perfectly good paying day job. Uh, we developed a team, uh, launched our first product, sourced the hardware, received our first outside investor. Uh, took those proceeds, uh, continued to invest in our marketing, did an Android version, and that leads us to where we are now, where we are developing our live demo of the Analyze and Instruct products, and uh, from there we will launch Analyze, Instruct for Golf, and then pivot into baseball. So that's kind of our trajectory, each time reducing risk. So, we're uh, leading the self-help industry. Uh, we have a strong team, a scalable product, and uh, are there any questions? Perfect. Wow, that was really good. Well, I, know. Okay, so I know I have them, I always do, but I want to give it up to you guys. What are your questions? All right, Tim, and then uh, yes, sir, Brad, you'll be. I did. Always impressed, Sean. Um, my question for you at this point, um, knowing, knowing of your company for a little while right now, I've, I've recently seen that you have a few new places to buy a product. Where is the most profitable place for you that I can buy a product? Uh, from our website. Awesome. Get the middleman out of the way. <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Yeah, will you be adding, you're starting off with sports, but will you be adding things like, suppose suppose I wanted a coach to teach me how to play the saxophone? Uh, you know, so we have talked about those types of things, and, and really our technology is all about motion. And so if there is a motion that is versus should be and giving audible instruction to get there. So we've talked about physical therapy, manufacturing type things. There has been general discussion about the music industry because yes, you could apply these concepts. Um, right now, that's not really in the business model, but it, it's been mentioned before. I think if I could add one of the things, the lessons that we hear over and over again through incubators and from mentors is figure out what you do well and do that one thing really well. And then you have baseball in the future that right. you got to get. We got to get models. golf. We got to get the three products yeah. at increasing price points. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hi. Uh, really great presentation. I really enjoyed it. Um, with the computer vision technology, yep. what kind of challenges are you running into in getting a, like a, a, a user to set up their phone correctly so that the camera can capture everything? Yeah. Um, so. That's what we're learning with our Collect product. Um, and right now, in fact, I just put out an email two or three days ago uh, announcing our partnership with Sharper Image. And there's also an example of a video of where we're taking videos that were actually collected with the Collect product and 
capturing them so you can see what it looks like from a computer's perspective. And we, uh, we're, think we, we're getting really close to being able to solve that problem. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, and because our intent is to really not make, for not to be incredibly picky with regards to how far away you are and what angle you're at and all those types of things. And the, the algorithms and the maths that we're figuring out how to do are working for, we just run it through those, those 3,000 videos, we can run it through and um, for a face-on video, we, we're starting to nail it. So it's very encouraging. No human intervention, I might add. Yes, sir. This is through the smartphones and whatnot. Have you started looking at the new potential of 360 cameras and what the complexity is going to be if you incorporate that type of technology? Not yet. But all that will do is improve our ability to provide the instruction and do and do multiple points. So we're staying focused on the cell phone, the quality of the video that we all have in our pockets at this point, and um, stay focused on that and deliver our products. Sir. I got a question, and it's more about your presentation. Congratulations, you've you've had one of the most well, okay tight presentations I've seen here. I mean, really. <laughs> and I noticed that you're a winner a of a few competitions. You, you think I've done it once or twice? I might have done it. <laughs> Is there anything you could share with the group here, or people are looking towards presenting? What your advice? I don't want you to grow a competitor, but oh, what would your advice would be on that? Yeah. Um, so this presentation is. Um, the result of months and months and months of refinement. In fact, every single, we actually are now in a, a, a process because I have to always update it for our actuals and our financials, right? And so literally, I have a checklist every month, the beginning of every month, we update our presentation. I've got to go to three different websites that have to get updated. We've got to do all those types of things. And we actually developed a checklist to remember all the things that we have to do. Um, in order to keep track of these things. You know? Do you so, use this presentation for investors, potential oh, yes. investors? Yeah, this so is a this slightly is a, redacted version. Outside of competing, it's actually serious to get This is our investor there. presentation. We have one presentation that gets redacted when I have to do six minutes versus ten minutes versus two minutes versus... <laughs> right, thank you. But, I, but we have a... And I'm well... I, I have a, a, a team member who um, drills me endlessly with regards to the presentations. So even though I have given this presentation... I don't know how many times, I still got drill. I had still had to practice it two days, two, uh, two times yesterday, just to rub off the rust and do all that other. So I'm going to just piggyback off of that, and then get two more questions mm -hmm. over here. So, um, so it's, it's clear to me your engineering mindset is at work in here. Um, it, 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 it sounds also like your experience at NASA specifically contributed to your, is that, so that's true. Can yes. you kind of talk to that for yeah. a bit? I think it's really kind of interesting and unique around here. So what's, what is the easiest part for me and our team is actually the project management and the technical challenges that we face. When I present it to a group of people, the, the technical problems is actually, and this is not a simple problem to solve from a technology perspective, and so it intimidates people. Um, and, but we, we kind of know it. Um, and that's our easy part. For us, our, the tough part is marketing. I mean, you do not want three engineers or two golf professionals marketing. Like this, <laughs> <laughs> this I have learned. Um, so what is this, was there something about the culture and environment and your experience at NASA that, that kind of you brought into this space? Yeah, or you know, they're just coincidental. I think it's um, from, a, it, from a project management perspective and the stuff no one sees behind the scenes, yes. That's the thing, yeah. From a presenting, I thought, from my career at NASA, I did a lot of presenting. I thought I was really good at it. I, the first, and Tom was there, the first few times I had to present for feedback, I bombed. I mean, I just bombed. Uh, and I don't know if it's because this is personal, if it's because I never had to pitch in a time constraint, um, but I'm sort of figuring out now. You got it. <laughs> Your comment about marketing feeds right into my question. Uh -huh. Have you thought about working with, like, say, a local high school and donating the app for a year to the college the high school golf teams, you know, to, to give them a chance to experience it and then talk about it as they grow up, they'll be, you know, knowledgeable. Yeah. Um, so we have <coughs> talked with, there's a group in Williamsburg-ish called the College Prep Tour, and they have college age kids who are from about junior high through high school, all of whom are playing tournaments to try to build up their resumes to be able to go. And so we've been working with them, we've uh, shown the product, and, and ha we've been talking about some different things with them to try to get that word out. But it, at this point, our, I have to be very careful about our resources and, and where we spend our time. Because although I want to show traction for Collect, 
our business model works once we have all three products in place. And so I've been very careful with regards to, yeah, we need to show traction, but I can't get too carried away trying to sell the collect product and neglect the fact that we really have to get the analyze and instruct products ready. You sort of answered question, but what's, what's the NASA involvement? Oh, it's the fact that I worked there and the two other technical people, we all met at NASA. Were you guys in R&D or science? Um, so uh, at NASA Langley, there's a contract, well, it was a contract, uh, which is an operations maintenance engineering services company. Yeah, so I worked for Jacobs, and I was the deputy general manager of that contract. Okay. And so that helped me meet a lot of people. And I'd spent 20 years working for Jacobs, 20 plus years. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, so, yeah. oh, sorry, no, right, I'm not used to having somebody you're, field my question. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to how to put you in a bucket. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel right now you're. I know that, but I kind of feel like you're in the gadget bucket. Mm. Is that where? Is that the bucket you want to be in? What bucket do you want to be in? I want to be in the um, the 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 self help bucket. So go back to how I started the whole okay. thing. So that to me feels bigger. It's a very bigger. big bucket. I think, I think gadgets, gadgets are a piece of self-help. It, it is a very big bucket. So are you trying to get, are you trying to get into a coach bucket, for instance? Are you trying to replace coaches right now, trainers? I want to, to if, I, if I put on my big thinking hat, yeah. I think the way we are using the technology that we have in our pockets is still in its infancy. And that there is a lot of potential for how we can use this device that can hear, see, and talk. <coughs> and so, if I put on my big picture hat, I would say we're in the we're in the improvement bucket. You know, if you, I look at what is our mission statement, is to help people improve. Yeah. So using technology. I, I do think your pitch is awesome, but um, I think you're sitting right now. People, I mean, I don't know what to make of you quite yet, okay. because you're because you're unique in a way. And so that's the good news. Um, traditionally, technologies like yours either go and try and disrupt existing markets, right? So, you, so you're trying to convince people you don't need to pay for a coach. You can have a coach on your phone, you know, and so you're a cheaper version to a coach. Or you go to people who can't get to coaches today and have no access to coaches, and now you're providing something they've never had before, a new market as opposed to an existing market. Yeah. I'm trying to figure, right now you kind of look like one of those infomercials at 2 a.m., which I think can make a can make a good income, but won't make a billion. Mm -hmm. To make a billion, you gotta find a new market or, to, or get into an existing market. So, you know, this is, what we found is really kind of interesting, and I'll draw you to the bottom left, right? And so you have that do-it-yourself learner, You've got a student, somebody who's already paying an instructor, and the instructor themselves. And our existing product really hits all three of those, but our follow-on products are really all about that do-it-yourself learner. And, and so that's, to me, we are about helping people who want to improve on their own, at a lower cost point, without hiring a coach. So call it replace the coach business, okay. Uh, so if you're really interested in this topic, there's another company called Swim Nerd who's going to be coming and talking about something similar that they do in the swimming space. All right, yes, sir. Um, I had a question. So you have the collect, the analyze, and the instruct. Um, I'm not sure that I quite understand the differences between the three levels. So sure. the so, like, so at the current one, you're just doing collecting. So people upload their videos, and they get a video back, or they just upload their videos, and it goes off into your system somewhere. They upload their videos. They can look at it. They can share it with an instructor. They can review it themselves. Gotcha. So Collect allows you to capture, review, and share your videos. Gotcha. Analyze. will analyze those for you, and Instruct delivers that instruction at your, your practice location. Right. So when we talk about the Instruct, for example, sure. like on a golf swing or whatever, at some point I'll be able to film myself taking a golf swing, um, and then your system will kick back out, hey, Jeremy, you need to open your hips more earlier or something. I mean, Perfect. That, I, mean, I can that hire work? you to be my marketer. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, that's exactly what happens. Okay. It'll say, uh, so before you take your next swing, it'll say, you, Jeremy, you came over the top. Uh, next time, lead with your left arm. Gotcha. Okay? One quick comment. I just oh. want to say, fantastic opening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic presentation. And I just want to say that I know people want to learn what this is, but I agree. Son just finished um, his final All Star yeah, game last week for baseball. Um, his team is not going to states. They've been all over this yeah. for the batting practice. Yeah, totally baseball is is a really it's um 
you know, we, we started with golf um, strategically because A, I had the idea, B, golfers tend to pay for technology, um, and C, actually looking at census data, the, the size of the markets between golf and baseball are about equivalent. Um, and so that's where we started with golf, but, but baseball is just the logical place it to is. go. And I just, encur I just wanted to say that to encourage you. Thank I you. Think what you're doing is fantastic. Thanks. And I really can see where the next step would, would, would have something to bring to Great, thanks. We'll have a question, I think. Um, so, fantastic presentation. You actually had me all captivated. <laughs> you know, I could see, honestly, I could see so much you could do with this because if you think about it, a lot of uh, teens, I mean, I'm talking about, you know, the younger generation may have issues with, like, I'm thinking almost therapeutic, uh, therapeutic like, you know, drugs, maybe alcohol. I mean, people that, you know, are thinking about, um, they don't want to ask for help. People that, you know, um, alcohol. And you know what, this is something where you can actually be, like, a motivator, a coach for that, too. Mm -hmm. And that market is untapped. It is And untapped. I'm thinking just something like this, you know, I'm actually taking a whole different level. And I think this is something where you're not asking for help, but you're motivating yourself to do it. So that's one market. And also taking it on the health side of things, you know, seniors with um, Alzheimer's. Just there's so many things you can do with this app. You just got me thinking. You yes. Know? Yeah. That's that's what that's why I quit my perfectly good paying day job because I just kept thinking and thinking that's just and thinking. How I, I mean, yeah. I just you know, this whole avenue. You know? We're really excited to think about physical therapy and compliance from a physical therapy perspective. You know, how many times have you, you go to physical therapy and you've got to do your leg lifts and you're handed a Xerox copy of something, you can't even read it anymore. You don't know if you're really doing the exercise correctly. What if you just videoed it and it told you you were doing it correctly? I mean, that seems really, from a compliance perspective and those types of things, those are all really interesting areas that we can grow this to. So, you market to like a big, you know, just a physical, like a big organization, you have a better clientele too, but you know, the hospital says, mm -hmm. download this app. Yep. So since we're at 10 o'clock, Sean, we have a final question for you is what can the One Million Cups Virginia Beach community do for feedback? Sure. So we have grown feedback as far as personal resources can take us. You know, I've personally tapped out my life savings um, and our, our one investor that's come in. Um, so we are actively in the raise capital mode. For us to be able to finish the analyze and continue this concept, we need introductions to people with capital. And that's plain and simple. And Shameless push. And download the app. Well, yeah. download the app yeah. cannot yeah. hurt. I got that. I got and that. I expect to, I'll be looking for your swings, buddy. Yep. Spying on you. You got it. My dad is going to get this. He's going to get a subscription. <laughs> okay, well, right. thanks very much, everybody. <laughs> Next week.